Hey y'all. Okay, so I just want to quickly comment on this video that I saw recently online where I guess these children were uh, using a rideshare app and it just so happened that their driver was Young Jock. And they basically start clowning this man and making fun of him and talking about how he's fallen off now because um, he's driving them around. And I'll play the clip for you guys if I can find it. You sound like somebody I know. Huh? You sound like somebody I know. I mean... You know, like, I don't know what's your name. I told you. Are you? I just want to ask a question. Um, are you young, Jack? Can you turn around? I mean, I think y'all put that part together. Yeah, oh, oh so you, just fell, you must have fell off or something. Like, oh, why? No, why is you? Yeah, I gotta fall off. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to figure out. Like, you just driving for pull up and go. Like, what happened? I just felt like it's an easy way to get some easy money right here downtown. I, mean, I meet people, you know what I'm saying? I really think that's, okay. You think that's what it is? I just want to spotlight the fact that these are kids. They are children. We don't know how old they are, but you can just, you can hear that they're very young. So there's going to be a day where they have responsibilities of their own. They have their own children. They have their own families that they need to take care of. And they're going to be willing to do whatever they have to do. And when they look back on this video, they're going to be ashamed. They're going to be ashamed that they said what they said and they thought the way that they thought. Everybody in this world has a purpose. Everybody has responsibilities. Everybody has a dream that's placed in their heart by God. And it's your responsibility to accomplish that dream. And whatever you have to do, don't let anybody make you feel ashamed about it. Don't let anybody think that because you have your eye on the prize, because you have your mind on what's important, because you're focused on providing for the people that you love, don't let anybody make you feel ashamed for doing what you have to do for them and do what you have to do for them. Because the moment that you stop, you're going to have to answer to God. Because for people who are parents like young Jock, who has several children, he has responsibilities. He decided to have those children and they are blessings. God blessed him with those children, but he decided to have those children and now it's his responsibility to take care of all of them. So I commend him as a black man for doing what he has to do. For everybody out there who also has dreams, ambitions, goals, there are things that God has placed in your mind for the rest of the world to hear, for the rest of the world to see. Don't let that go to waste. Make sure you're working towards that. And if you have to look stupid sometimes, that's okay. Because the Bible says that God makes the foolish things of the world put to shame the wise things of the world. And he makes the weak things of the world put to shame the strong things of the world. Keep focused on your goals. Don't worry about what everybody else has to say. That's just my little thoughts, you guys. A lot of times when we're talking to these kids and the youth, you got to lead by example. And sometimes, like, you have to show people you're not too big, you know what I'm saying? You have to show them what humility is, and you're not too big to, you know, do the right thing by making an honest living. And I think a lot of times that's why our kids and even adults go astray because they're too ashamed and too prideful, man, to do something. It was one of those things where, you know how you just be, you, you, you start challenging yourself to do something you ain't never did before. So it's kind of like a bucket list thing. But, I mean, for anybody who really wants to do this, I think it's a dope idea. I mean, I'm, look, I'm doing it right now. They gave me a little hat. Pull up and go. Yeah, I got somebody in the back seat. Now I just had to pull over. I had to pull over. Look, I'm going to tell you the most phenomenal part of this whole experience from this going viral is the amount of support that I'm like, whoa. Because like, I just knew, I was like, oh, man, they're going to roast here and go. But, I mean, a lot, a lot of celebrities have reached out. People hit my phone. I mean, Snoop said something. He's like, hustlers hustle. You know what I mean? Um. I just realized that maybe people are beginning to be a little more mature.